Could I have something to stir the beans? One of my favourite things ever to do is cook a full English on the barbecue. Um, so it's also my son's favourite thing ever, and he'd have it for breakfast, breakfast, lunch and dinner if he could. We need to get some sausages on first, um, alongside tomatoes, and then we're going to get the lid down, because these guys take the most amount of time to cook. So some proper porker sausages, two great taste awards, 2020. Get those guys on. Now get some of the uh, tomatoes on. So just some nice vine tomatoes. This breakfast is for four people, but if you're really hungry, two. And I'm pretty hungry. So we've got the sausages and the tomatoes in roasting in the barbecue at the moment. Next up is bacon. So uh, this is our black treacle, uh, thick cut, double spoked, dry cured bacon. Uh, and we believe it's the best bacon in the world. Take a look at this. Look at that. The back bacon's been cured in some black treacle and it's a bit thicker cut. So good, so good. So we'll get some of that on. Let's be honest, a fry-up is not a fry-up without bacon, right? Look at that. So next up, we're gonna go on to um, some beans. And the other day we were doing some panel testing, which is all part of the job, uh, down at our little restaurant in Bristol. Um, and we were saying, what makes great baked beans? And the chef there put in some enduya, which is amazing with anything and some cheese. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do because it was so good last time. So I'm just gonna get that in to warm up on a skillet pan. Gonna add in some of that and some cheese. And that just takes the beans to a different level. Enduya is a uh, spicy Italian spreadable sausage and you can pretty much add it to anything. Um, I might have put a bit too much in here, but it's just because I love it. Um, but mix it with cheese and beans and you just got something fantastic. So mix that in and that'll melt down. It might be a bit spicy for some, but perfect for me. So that's happening. So we're gonna crank up this, get some heat into that pan for some fried eggs. Some butter in there, a bit more butter. I think it's really important not to rush cooking sausages in a barbecue because how many times do you see people like scorch the outside, the inside's still raw. I just think it's just take your time. If you've got a lid and you can put it down and you know they're cooked through, that's the best way as well. So let's get the eggs in there. Yeah. Cheese is starting to melt down. I mean, it's filth, it's absolute filth, but if you're gonna go for it and you're gonna have a fry up, you might as well go for it. I'm gonna get a few nice bits of sourdough, cut this up, heat it through on the barbecue. Delicious. I'm basically just gonna go straight in to the main event, which is these guys. I wouldn't usually say that when there's bacon and sausage on the plate, but when you've got these guys, try that. Right. Try that, mate. Dip a sausage in it, one. Full English fire on the barbecue.